Today I want to make a uh, quick video on how to tape up your bed. Give me just a second and I'll come around there and make it. So, you take the tape. This adds maximum uh, adhesive too. You take your tape. You, you want to get it as perfect as possible. On there. Let's do this one. Get it on there as perfect as possible. Like so. Then take your scissors. Cut the cut the blue on there. And as you cut the blue, you want to get as close as you can to the line. You don't really want any overhang. And you don't want to overlap either. You want to keep it completely not overlapped. So cut the little excess off right there. Try to pick it all up when you're done. Then, or it'll be getting stuck to your, your printer. I had a piece stuck on my fan. Now, when you do, and, and you can do this so on and so on, but when you do your second piece, you want to lay it. Do not overlap it. You want to you want to get it as perfect as you can align without overlapping it. And if you overlap a little bit, you're not going to go to jail. It just it your print will start uh, overlapping on the thing. It won't lay your print your print won't lay flat if you if you do a lot of overlapping with the tape. So, but I figured after the Sasquatch, I ripped it a little bit. That was a rough one. I cut my finger and we had a little bit of problem getting it after I bragged and said the supports weren't hard to get them off and they weren't too bad but I was in a hurry I was trying to show you if I would have been able to sit down and take my time it would have it would have been a lot easier and I would have grabbed the proper tools so but you see this is how you this is how you tape your bed you know and I'll do another row but we want to make sure that we we continuously and do not overlap try your hardest so I know it's impossible to be perfect I'm definitely not that's why it's called simple man and not smart man designs because I'm a I'm definitely not not a a uh, genius by any means but so there's the second layer and you may, you want to make sure it's very very stuck because that'll give you good bed adhesion if you make sure it's good and stuck it'll give you very good bed adhesion to to start a to when you do your prints if you guys are having problems keeping your keeping your uh prints staying to the bed this is a very this is what i found to be the very best thing to keep my bed my uh, print stuck to the bed it uh it keeps it very it keeps it very very um, it keeps the print stick to it well. Don't use the generic though because it it won't it, the adhesive's not as good for some reason. I've used the generic and it just the bad adhesion is not as good. So I mean, some people might say it's okay and it might be, but I'm telling you from my experience, the the 3M or you know the the name brand with the strong adhesives are the best the best the, the best uh, tapes to use. That's my opinion. Yeah, see if you lay your tape everywhere, you'll have it sticking to everything. I got it sticking to my scissors, sticking to my... So then you just take your scissors, get as close to your bed, cut it, get it off. I'm about to knock your Sasquatch off. He's right there, I'm about to knock him off. And take your other scissors, cut it right there. And each time you wanna smooth out and try to smooth out the bubbles and stuff too to make sure to make sure that he's uh your board is good and able to hold the uh to hold the the part on there that you're gonna be making okay and then here's one more i always have a this maybe my luck i always have a little overhang and i can't help it i i try i either have a gap or a little bit overhang but it is what it is and you can um you can also 
when you're all done. Exacto, and I've worked good. Mine's just dull right now. I haven't been to the store or the Home Depot. I need to go to Home Depot or a local hardware store and get get uh, some good uh, exacto knife blades. My Stanley, I just got a little cheap Stanley. It came with uh, one blade. I need to get me some blades, but okay. Okay, so here we go. We're on to the next to last row. Put that down like that. Keep going. And then, like I said, X-Acto knife works better than scissors, and that's probably why I've been so on level lately, because the scissors don't cut it square like it, the scissor the end of it bumps up against your screw or your on both sides bumps up against your plate so it's or under the table or whatever you're using because you got to have it hang over a little bit so you can cut it off okay so now I'm to the very last part and go ahead and slap that on there now look you're gonna have overhang you're gonna have overhang on this whole last piece so you're gonna, gonna want to smooth it down really well cut that tip off can't get these to stop sticking in my scissors to tape flip it try not to cut your bed play your bill plate and then Just run, cut it down. The best you can. Like I said, if you got a little overhang, it's not gonna hurt nothing. You the main problem is not want overhang on the on the uh on the uh part that the part that uh the print sticks to so all right all right well that is how you do your bed and try to make sure you put your i try to make sure my plates back on the same way every time so that's how my plate sits with the ender facing back to the back of the printer put my little clips on i try to keep my clips to the tip because it seems like my my extruder head and nozzle will bump it if i don't there's that. And if this video gets fuzzy for a minute, it's because my low battery clicked on on me. Should be. Okay, so he's all together. Now let me hit the home button. And he's ready to start printing. So thank you. And I was just giving you a quick tutorial on how to put the uh, blue painter's tape on.